Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. And I invited him to dinner one night, and he came to dinner. And it was like a mini version of the man who came to dinner. Ordinarily, when one attends dinner at somebody's house, about 11.30, you go home, you know. But uh, Jane was working uh, at the time, and she was exhausted. So about 11.30, she fell asleep, as I recall. Uh, he, uh, we, we served wine during dinner, and he had several of those. And then uh, he and I retired to the living room and just chatted about life. I wish I'd made notes. Uh, I'm, I'm a compulsive note taker now, but unfortunately, I wasn't then. Uh, this takes us up to about midnight, I guess, of the night in question. Jane was asleep, and uh, I finally began yawning. Not as a hint, it's just that I, I yawn a lot. <laughs> I yawn at the drop of it, whatever. And he didn't take it personally, didn't even seem to notice it. He just kept asking f if I had any more uh, brandy. As I recall, he finished uh, a bottle and a half of brandy between then and, Lord knows what time it was, three or four in the morning. And finally, I was, uh, you know, like that, saying, yeah, I guess you're right. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That was my part of the conversation. And he was rambling on in his cups. Fascinating. I just don't remember now what he said after so many years. So uh, he finally began to get f his feelings hurt at about four. He wanted me to go out with him, you know. And I said, man, I have to work tomorrow. Uh, he said, oh, come on, you know, we'll have some fun. I said, I'm, I'm sure we would, but I do have to work tomorrow, and I'm, forgive me for yawning for the last few hours, I can hardly keep my eyes open now. So he actually got his feelings hurt by that. He thought I was, like, letting a friend down or something. And he went to the phone and called somebody. The first person, I think, hung up on him, and he called somebody else. And he finally found someone who would, uh, you know, continue the carousing, I guess. So he, he left uh, around dawn, as I recall. 